You know, I remember riding on the UP train when we first broke ground for the library. And UP was there again with the train in 1997 when we dedicated the library. And what a great day that was. And when Dick told me they were thinking about painting a locomotive in my honor, I literally was overcome, I was speechless. They took one of these brand new locomotives and painted it in the colors of Air Force One and put 4141. And not only that, they put on the side of the locomotive, George Bush Presidential Library and Museum. Wow. I mean, who, who would have thought? Yes, sure, we'll take, yeah, yeah, that's a great idea. I'm glad we thought of it. I think it represents the heritage of public service of President George H.W. Bush. Just the locomotive itself and frankly Union Pacific represent the strength of America, the strength of our workforce and innovation and our leadership. If I'd had one of these when I was president, I might have left Air Force One behind. He was part of that generation, President Bush was, that had been accustomed to train travel. There, there are people out there, the trains have this mystique, and he was one of the people that was part of his, uh, his thinking. It's a large presence. I mean, you, you know, it will catch everybody's attention and eye as they start to visit the Presidential Library. For me, it's kind of like being a kid in a candy shop. I mean, they're big, huge toys. And we're, we're hoping everybody else will, will love our brand new toys and uh, come and see them. So that's what we're looking forward to. I chose A&M because I like the spirit of the place. I like the academic excellence of the place, but I think most of all, I feel at home on this campus. It's a combination of academic excellence uh, and that wonderful Aggie spirit. A lot of people come and visit the museum and 99% of the people, it is the exhibits they come here for. My name's Warren Finch. I'm the director of the Bush Library. We're always looking for ideas for exhibits. The fact that College Station is called College Station had a lot to do with the fact that we wanted to do a railroad exhibit because the town was named after the College Station. We wanted a caboose for the exhibit. We thought, well, UP would be a great place. So the um, foundation director at the time, Roma Papaduke, suggested that we all fly to Omaha to sit down with uh, Dick Davison, who was the CEO of Union Pacific at the time. And Davison said, well, getting the caboose might be difficult. He said, how about we take one of our brand new locomotives and we'll, we'll paint it in the colors of Air Force One and we'll renumber it 4141. And we, of course, after we got off the floor, said, yeah, sure, wow, that's a great idea. <laughs> I mean, we wanted a caboose. We got a, whatever, 70 ton, whatever, locomotive. When you're an American company that was created by Abraham Lincoln's pen, it has a building America as its motto. And you take that and you take the fact that 20% of our workforce is military, you got a very patriotic and motivated bunch. And you give them the assignment for President Herbert Walker Bush 41, you don't need much motivation. So when that was prepared, they brought it here and they put this thing inside of a tent. There was a big ceremony and they did this reveal and there was a locomotive. And then President Bush, he gets on it. He and, he and Mrs. Bush. And then they let him drive it. I only got to drive it at about 35 miles an hour. My understanding is President Bush was offered some discretion and, and drove it a little bit faster. He got to drive it for a while and then I think UP said, um, we gotta open these tracks back up. 
And we did get a caboose, by the way. So Union Pacific actually found a caboose and painted it in UP colors. And the caboose sat in the parking lot, which was fantastic. So the exhibit ran from nine or 10 months. And then UP took that locomotive and they ran it as part of their fleet. And it did, it ran all over the country. They did that for about a year. And then fortunately, President Bush lived a long time after the exhibit closed and after the locomotive was put in storage. But at some point he got this idea that wouldn't it be fantastic if he came from Houston after the funeral in Houston uh, as part of the funeral plan to College Station pulled by the 4141 in a train. He thought it would just be a great idea that uh, after the funeral, everybody could come up and uh, they could eat lunch on the train, have sandwiches and eat lunch. And wouldn't it just be perfect? Well, President Bush, you, you won't be eating a sandwich. And he said, yes, but I, well, I'll be on the train. We thought, well, it wouldn't it be great to have that part of his legacy here? So Chancellor and the, uh, the Board of Regents donated just about two acres at the library site to the foundation for the placement. Union Pacific was very amenable to uh, donating the locomotive. What a great opportunity to show this thing off in the right way uh, for the right man. You know, obviously the locomotive is the star. President Bush is what is unifying us all right now. We can all be united and we can all agree that President Bush was a wonderful man who did so much for our country. And we just have to hope that we can move forward with President Bush's spirit, that spirit of commonality, of trust, and working together to ensure that we do everything we can to bring our country up. The uh, Marine Corps Museum in Quantico, Virginia, has promised us uh, one of the helicopters that President Bush flew on. The facility, the train, the helicopter, and the whole facility, new facility, will be ready by the President's 100th birthday. 6 12, 24. The fact that this, this train, an engine that will have its kind of final destination, final trip to the Bush Library, College Station there, the fact that it had that historic travel from Houston, hundreds of thousands waved at that train as it went down those tracks of such a moving moment. So I think this is quite meaningful and quite special to the Bush family, I know that to be the case. Having him here and that knowledge, both of them, for as many years as we had them, we were very, very lucky.